Okay, so I am back and I am going to grab a Diet Coke. So go ahead and uh, top off your glass or whatever you forgot to do before you sat down. So, what I am doing, I am Corporal Vuko. I am a disabled war veteran. I'm on a mission to move cannabis to Schedule 6. I even uh, saw a hash sign that was fairly open. Initially, I thought, well, cannabis, just get it off the normal scheduling process because it's so unlike everything else, and move cannabis to like Schedule C. But then I noticed that Schedule C was some kind of accounting thing, and I was like, well, then I looked at the whole scheduling thing. I was like, well, they'd sk the schedules go one through five. Why not just move it to schedule six? I, and the hashtag was open. I was like, well, that kind of makes perfect sense. It wasn't completely open, but the stuff in there was like, there were only like 10 items in there. Anyways, um, yeah, so I have the golf four illness and my mind will drift. I'll try to entertain you though. But hashtag schedule six, um, Cannabis, you know, it's like your body produces its own cannabinoids. Uh, your number one receptors in your brain are cannabinoids. Not much are, is really known about them because they've been misscheduled since like the 30s or 40s. It's really ironic too, because like you, you even have like some, some of your like really hardline conservatives, like everything's a drug, but you know, they'll drink alcohol. And you know, like when you think back to like prohibition, well, during prohibition, you know, cannabis was legal, but alcohol wasn't. But Anyways, uh, my favorite form of humor is irony, if you, in case you haven't figured it out yet. I am going to draw, and I'm going to try and be mellow. Mellow, 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 and I'm going to try to avoid talking about the VA as much as possible. Oh, man, but the other thing is, I, I want every doctor in the VA to know what golf or illness is, because in the two and a half years it took me to get my diagnosis, being four and a half years sick, I still have yet to meet one doctor that knows about it. The only, like the, the one who gave me the diagnosis, I brought him in all kinds of paperwork and I showed him that he was actually, a, he was a primary care and I showed him, this is director of another hospital, he said a primary care, any primary care doctor can make this diagnosis. And he went through the paperwork and he's like, well, yeah, it's a slam dunk. And so oh, I made it past that and I'm not gonna talk about the VA or things like football, cause woo, football and then the funny thing is with the whole football thing is angry as I am about the whole protest thing the fact that the way it ended where these two guys still don't work and the NFL was ratings down but then Roger Goodell gets a plane for life I mean I don't get it but then again I'm mentally crippled so keep that in mind as I as I speak so anyways this is what I intend to be the eventual book cover um, once a marine always a marine me past and present feel free to take two uh, two photos of yourself uh, past and present you know childhood to now even mixing you and your mother or whatever <laughs> I don't know I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. So anyways, the reason I the reason I started with a sketch like this is just to sort of work on my proportion control. I really don't want the graphic the graphite in there. I just want to kind of stick to the whole chalk thing. And if you really want to know how to do this, I I only seen a couple of videos, but there's the art sherpa, and I thought she was uh, fairly entertaining and she actually looks like she knows what she's doing. I think she even has like a I saw she had like her own brand uh, art equipment. I, I, I don't know if it was any good, but, but yeah. I'm also 48 and single, so I'm probably going to give you all kinds of relationship advice. Bear that in mind. I don't have any children, so at some point I'm going to tell you how to raise your children. I can't tell you how to be a rock solid Marine, though. That I actually did accomplish. And I'm going to tell you stories about my car, the Freedom Wagon. Oh my god. Like today, like my last car was an Audi. And it was so cool, like when the dealer first showed it to me, I, uh, like he gives me the key and I walk up to the passenger side and the door unlocks. It's just like, woo, it's awesome. 
But you know, for all the security they have nowadays, the Freedom Wagon, you could not start it without a can of Diet Coke. And that one I'm probably not going to mention to the book or something like that. But yeah, good story. But the Freedom Wagon, we cared about drinking and driving, so it slept uh, four Marines in the back when you put the seat down fairly comfortable. Prince, I think uh, in 1992, I think that was like Diamonds and Pearls. I had the car 91 and stuff, but just 92 is just kind of like the year that I became a corporal, so what from Lance Corporal Corporal. But you know, there's, there's so, like, I think they still play like jump in clubs today, you know, jump, jump, or, all right, so I can't sing and I don't have much of a beat, but anyways, but yeah, I think Prince had diamond, diamonds and pearls, I think that was the year, uh, Nirvana got snubbed for, uh, smells like Team Spirit for like, I don't know, some, some guy, some like old timer did like a cover, some cover tune or something. But yeah, so I've got my proportions. And, uh, I am going to, let's see, what do I remember from the very few things that I learned? They typically say, and, and typically I, I try to work with acrylic, um, but they typically say work light to, no, they work, work back to front, back to front. Alrighty, so I am going to go YOLO. And by saying go YOLO, that's just, just one, of things, one of those words that the millennials came up with. It's actually, actually an acronym for like, you only, you only live once, but it just seems like online it became more of a let's wing it type of thing, so, but Let's wing it, you only live once, I'm close enough. So, what am I gonna start with? I am going to start with the eyes. Why? Because I'm fairly well medicated and I'm really not sure what I'm doing right now. I mean, think about it. I'm talking to a camera and you're sitting in front of your screen with a half empty drink. Go ahead, you can fill it up. You can fill it up, I'll pick it up in a little bit. All right, we good? We good? All right, cool. All right, so I am going to pick up where I left off. Oh, no. All right, I do have music for me in the background. I have a fan going on to sort of smother it because I don't want to have to try and uh, overdub a video or things like that, so. There's this, so this dude, he's, he's actually, uh, he's gonna, you're going to know who he is eventually. Probably, you probably know of him before you know me, though. But this guy, I posted a, uh, I posted a, uh, uh, a picture of me holding up my little, uh, my little medical marijuana thing of, uh, like it was like an empty thing that I put my stems in. And I thought, was, I thought that was kind of funny because there's a Chris Stapleton song, and if you know Chris Stapleton, then. Uh, if you listen to his music, it's one of his less common songs, but it, it's a funny thing from there, so. So I put that out there, and I think he saw the flag, and he got the joke, and then he uh, liked my thing, and then I clicked on his link, and I was like, oh, check this out. This guy's, this guy's uh, got his own uh, music thing going on. And uh, so I started going, I started kind of flipping through the songs, and I was like, um, I was really surprised. It was like like three of the songs kind of caught me right away. Then the other two I could tell had some promise. And when you're uh, this is like something more for the millennials. When you're like when you're with like when I was younger, you know, you spent a lot of your disposable income on uh, things like CDs for music. And sometimes you know it's like somebody that you like that's had two great albums comes out with their third album, and all of a sudden it's like you like one and a half songs on there. Then you know you just spent fifteen twenty bucks on this thing, and you kind of feel cheated. So, so nowadays, you know, you, you, it's almost like everybody kind of, it's more, they put out albums, but usually it's like a few singles get out there, unless you're one of the top artists, really. They tend to, to get better, I don't know how to say it, they produce better results with their hard work. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, remember, my, my, uh, my Twitter profile does say mentally crippled, so.
Alrighty. But I am the happiest mentally crippled person you'll ever meet. My glass is always half full. So let's see, so skin tones. Skin tones can be rough um, with acrylic. I, I kind of have my own little premix that I use, but for the chucks, it's kind of nice because they give me a couple. So what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at a computer screen on my bootcamp photo. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the outline. So I'm gonna go from the out, outer in, so from the outside's gonna be a little darker, but then as your face comes forward and the light hits it, uh, you're gonna have highlights. So that is working both back to forward and dark to light. Wow, I don't even know if those are real artist things. So if you, like, if you wanna be fancy and go talk to your artist friend, don't say that until you're sure that it's uh, right. Cause, you know, they might just give you one of those dipshit. All right. And I don't drink myself. I quit drinking hmm, almost five years ago now. But I don't mind if you do. Actually, I bartended for a while. Maybe I'll even do that. Tell you guys some recipes. Okay, so I'm just sort of going with some of the outlines. The inside of the nose is gonna be a little darker. And yeah, I'll just kind of finger blend a lot. And it's, I guess that's another thing that's kind of good with working with chalk is you get a little more tactile with it. Go ahead, you and your honey, you know, go ahead and, and share, uh, share one of these drawings. Take your time though, don't hurt yourselves. Alrighty, so, now, now it's kind of funny because normally when I'm painting, uh, you use a ton of white because every, almost all of your colors you sort of fade in and out using your whites. And w when you're mixing colors, uh, you want to always add the dark colors to the light colors because if I start off with a black, and I'm not going to do it on here, but if you start off with a black and you start adding like white to it to try and get gray, you actually have to add a ton of it just because the darker pigments are sort of, uh, I guess, more dominant. You only need, I guess you only need a little bit of pigment in white to really um, change the color, so. So here, it's not going to matter so much, but when I do do some finger blending, especially towards the end where like the, uh, the cheek the cheek down here and the, the nose and like the upper lip where the light hits. There I am gonna go ahead and sort of like blend some white in on the top. And remember, uh, I'm not a professional, so when you, so when you talk to your artist for them, oh yeah, check out my style. They might be like, dude, that's not how you do it. So let's see, I did draw in the ear, but typically the top of the ear starts right about the eye. And it's gonna be kind of tight. And well, in, in shock, I'm not gonna really get the detail out, so. Other than the bottom's just about the middle of the lip. <sighs> Proportion's tough, that's kinda why I start out with my little cheat lines. Unless you're good at this. So now, black. So this stuff here, ooh, maybe I will give you a little demo. <sighs> Department of Veteran Affairs, no! Don't look at the VA logo. Don't look at the VA logo. Did I tell you that all these different doctors and like the things they did, if a single doctor did that, I would have called the police and said, this, this guy's trying to kill me. Seriously. I'll get to that later though. I'm, I'm trying to relax here. So let's see. Okay, so this is the black. So if you notice this black, how it spreads really heavily. So that's kind of what I was talking about before with the ink, so. I wouldn't use a white because it won't come out, but then here's like, here's like a light color. So if you see over here, here's the, the light color, here's the mix of the two. You see how the black kind of dominates? So now down here, I'm just gonna add like a little tiny bit. See, I don't know if you can see how it got a little darker in its spot. Actually, I think it's mostly my finger, but you get the point. And if you're following along, do that and go ahead if you're, uh, if you're, if this is some sick idea of a date, go ahead, this is a good time to go ahead and put chalk in each other's noses. Just because if it's a first date or something, don't be shy. I mean, be shy, be cordial, just, you know, I mean, I don't want to ruin your date, but, you know, don't get all Harvey Weinstein. I mean, what a sick fuck. 
Okay, so I'm going for Vieta. Oh man, happy thought to happy thought. Woo! Now I'm not gonna talk about Tom fucking Red Kaepernick either. Woo! Alrighty, so I am going to keep going. So the Marine Corps hat is uh, white and black. So, I'm, so the reason I, I wanted to mention the whole black thing is I'm going to be very, very gentle using this black. And I'm going to try and use a sharp edge. Uh, people who know what they're doing will probably know how to get like these things sharp, but I am going YOLO. And maybe I'll even like uh, figure out how to put like little words on the bottom. That'd be kind of funny. Because I know at the end of the day, I'm just... If people do watch my videos, it's going to be a, a bunch of stoners. They're just going to like tune me out when I'm like, don't do it too much when you're younger. But you never know. I get some seniors in there. You know, it's kind of funny how it's like the people who need it the most have least, the least amount of access to it. If I, uh, if I went out there and tried to, you know, score some weed in an area, and you, you know where, where the areas are where you score them, right? Yep. Around the lawyers. Yeah, exactly. Lawyers always know where pot is. And it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, not only, you know, are they, you know, sometimes they defend them, but then the whole thing is, uh, there's, you know, a lot of them tend to lean liberal and, you know, you see lawyers with their Birkenstocks and all that kind of stuff, but they have a little bit of access and uh, it's one of those things, if you use it casually, you can, you can still maintain a life, especially if you don't hit it hard when you're young. I mean, if you're, if you're pounding it when you're 16 years old, then, uh, you know, no, the, the guy who's selling it, he's not gonna tell you that you're gonna be that dude walking down the street talking to the guy next to him. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff that'll do if you hit it hard when you're young, so. Your brain matures about 25, 27. No, I'm not trying to kill your buzz. Maybe I am, damn, I'm really getting kind of negative over stuff. But, no, oh yeah, it's because I said the whole VA letter type. But yeah, so, white, 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 white. A lot of people, like me especially, I haven't been doing this that long, so I'm, I'm speaking from, re from recent experience. A lot of people will sit there and think that white in a drawing is actually white, but what it, white really is, it's sort of like white with various tints. And then the tints um, mixed with your grayscale are what really makes it pop, and uh, then ultimately, what makes uh, a light reflect a lot isn't how isn't using plain white, but it's sort of like the tinting and the contrast that goes through. So, but yeah, I'm not an artist. I am mentally crippled. Ooh. So if, if you haven't heard this one yet, my sister, when I told her I was going to join the Marines, she said, "Oh my God, don't do it." She said, if you join the Marines, you're gonna die and everyone's gonna forget about you or you're gonna get sick and wounded and your government won't take care of you. She actually said that. And for two and a half years, I lived in her basement causing strain on her, on her, on her marriage until we realized that coming this way is probably a better option. But yeah, she actually said that. And after being sick for four and a half years and and, and I was pretty much like functionally dead until Cannabis Indica came along and yeah uh, I got my medical marijuana card two months before my suicide date so marijuana did save my life and but no we're gonna keep happy though and you know what I'm gonna celebrate that motherfucking date every year until I'm 105 ah oh, good times so if my glass is always half full, why am I being negative all the time? I'm not. <laughs> Maybe I am. I don't know. It's weird because I'm talking into a camera with zero followers. But yeah, if you uh, even if you don't care about what I, if you, even if you don't agree with me, try to share my story. Get the debate going. It's really uh, asinine the way it's been for the longest time and. I really believe that the way it is right now is killing my brothers and sisters that I've been in combat with, and uh, I'm not going to stop until I know my voice has been heard, so.
All right, do I do anything special to make these waves? Mm, nah, I mean, if you need to practice, then practice. It's not like I really know what the hell I'm doing. Even though I guess you don't have the photograph of me. But yeah, I guess if I gave it to you, that would really be kind of creepy. No offense, I mean, because there's really nobody there when I said that, but yeah, it's kind of weird. But yeah, that Freedom Wagon. I think I gotta have a couple pictures out there. Probably had uh, like 20 to 25 Marines sign it to say, uh, to say their goodbye and leave a message for the other troops. So, they just wicked all the things that happen. All right, so in case one of you guys was really nuts enough to do this as a first aid thing, I'm gonna tell you another story. It's about speaking French. And this is something that I had no idea, but this was the most incredible experience in my life. She was a college student from a, I don't know if I should tell the whole story now or just the good parts. Yeah, because if I write a book, I, I can't tell the whole story. You know, it's okay, I've gone through all this. There's no, way, there's no way in hell I'm gonna make it through a whole story without switching topics. I'm going to save the Evil Loban Anchor later because I really want to get the little detail in there. And it's one of the things I do when I like to paint is I'm going to have like one or two areas where I put this painstaking amount of detail in. But then the other thing that I do, and this is kind of unique to me, unique to me, it's sort of my signature. And so, oh, I'll try and get this back later. Oh, hey, I'm already jumping on tangents all over. Oh, but before I get to back to my signature, um... Like, so French Canadian women speak French when they're having sex, and we, oui, we oui, means yes, yes. Oh my God, when I tell you the story, whoo, incredible. And yeah, you know what? Maybe that's what killed the Freedom Wagon shocks. Now, the shocks were dead before, before I got that, but I may embellish a little bit in my book. I mean, my story is so incredible, I don't need to embellish. I'm probably gonna have to add a, like a warning saying, parts may have been, been embellished because the real stuff that happened is so unbelievable. But anyways, good stuff. And you know, anyone who's been through college, through, you know, the, the military, or even kind of got started in your profession, you know, you've got those kind of, the age where you hit from 19 to 27 where you have a lot of interesting stories, so.